Hello everyone, and today I will show you how to fix the uh, plugin, the Megascans plugin for Redshift in Houdini. So if you take a look at this normal map, it is completely broken. So we're going to start by fixing this HDA. So what we're going to do, if you right click on the HDA, allow editing of contents, dive into it. And this is the problem right here is this normal map It's using an RS texture instead of the needed RS normal. So we're going to place down the RS normal instead because this is actually what we need and place that into this image. Let me just close the render view. And so this is the expression we need right here is this this channel expression. So let's copy that over and just paste that into this RS normal. All right, I made a mistake. Um, it should actually, you need to add these back ticks around this uh, normal part. So go through the same steps as we do as the rest of it. Uh, just make sure that instead of just having it see just without the back ticks, add the back ticks, and then you should get the correct result. Uh, that will fix this node. So we can delete this RS texture and just keep this RS normal map. So the next thing we're going to need to do is actually tell the Megascans plugin to use this updated HDA. So we're going to right click version digital asset and then save as. So we're going to update or we can do it this way. Um, but since we need a, we want a backup just in case, let's do increase minor version. So for me, I already did this before, so I'm at 1.3 now. So what we're going to do is just click create. And this 1.3 is very important, and I will show you why later. So let's do create. And now that we're at 1.3, if we go over to Pixel Bridge and then go to Edit Settings, you can find your uh, where the plugin path's gonna be. So in your local library, just plug that into your file browser um, and it will take you to this folder. So once we're in this folder, we're gonna go to support, plugins, Houdini, 4.4, live link, scripts, Python, plugin, and then material setup. So once we're in this material setup, what we're gonna wanna do is we're going to change this redshift.python. So if we open this up, I'm going to use Notepad++. Feel free to use any other editor, and it should just work the same. So if you kick Control F and search for redshift underscore triplanar, you'll find this line of code that is uh, responsible for picking the HDA. So I am on 1.3 you'll probably be on 1.1, so change it to that version. So all you have to do is save it. Once we save, we also are gonna have to compile this, this uh, Python code. So it's Python compiled code instead, um, because that's what the plugin wants. So what we can do is just delete that and let's open a terminal. So if you, if you wanna open a terminal quickly, you can just open up the, uh, file explorer and just do cmd and it will open a it will open a uh, command prompt in your current directory is exactly what we need so all we're going to type in is python dash m compile all All right, now that this is compiled, uh, we can just close out of that. And um, inside of this folder, this PyCache, there's going to be a newly created uh, redshift.cpython38.pyc. So we're just going to copy that over, paste it, and just rename it. So we don't need any of this ending stuff. We just need it to be redshift.pyc. So now that's the updated version. All we're going to do is quickly restart Houdini. All right, now that we're back in Houdini, we're going to up we're going to uh import a asset from Quixel Bridge. I need to 
turn on the plugin. Okay. And now let's just import this one. All right. So now if we middle click, you'll see that it says 1.3 so that it confirms that it's working. And the plugin is now using the new version of this node, which is exactly what we need. So thank you for watching this video. I hope it helped fix your Quixel problems. Um, if you have any questions or comments, uh, leave it down below. If you liked the video, like it. If you didn't, then dislike it. Uh, feel free to subscribe. There will be more tutorials in the future. If you have any suggestions, please let me know.